Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to work with the comment notification. We have the follow and the like, right? And um, let's jump to the, let's close all of these. Not this one, we need this one. Okay, um, so we need to go to the comment models here. Let's move this one a little bit here. Let's open post because we're going to copy some stuff from here. So um, let's import the signals. Let's copy, paste it here, oops, paste it here. What else do we need? Um, yeah, why don't we don't need anything else? So um, yeah, let's copy this stuff. Okay, so as always, let's create our two method. Let's name this one user comment post. Okay, and here this parameter. Okay, comment will be instance, post will be comment post right so we have like a little test preview here right and test preview will be comment we're getting the this like body or basically like the message so body and it's going to like slice this like string we don't we just want like nine 90 characters right so 90 um sender will be comment that user right okay now let's import we need to let's go here from notifications that models import notification okay notify be equal notification in here post will be post sender sender User, oops, user post that user precisely. And test preview will be test preview. And the notification type, of course, notification, oops, notification underscore type two. Okay. Okay, let's go here. Okay, here we are. So now notify that save. Oops. Perfect. Here we have our notify notify. So let's work with the user. Delete common past. We don't have like these abilities in the like delete comments and stuff. So we're going to work with that later. Okay. Don't worry. Um yeah, basically same thing. Let me just copy but actually we just need these ones. Um, these two. Yep. 
So, um, notify will be notification that up, oops, up, objects that filter post will be post sender sender and um notification type will be two right um we can actually get the user bust user comment notify that delete okay now let's let's put the signals Let's copy these rows. I hate this keyboard. But save. Sender comment. Okay, let's save that. Let's see if it works. Let's try it. Um, let's go here. Up it here. Um, let's log out of this user. coming here you go beautiful picture by Frank Sinatra okay oh actually we can just we can change um the you know like this um let's go to post detail now that we have the humanized thing okay where is the comment where are the comments la 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 here okay uh, let's go to the top first we need to load the crap. Okay. Now let's go to the bottom. The comments. La 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 la. Here. Natural natural time just refresh a minute ago <laughs> okay beautiful picture so if we log in our Bill Gates account we should have the notification here oh <laughs> Yeah, we forgot to uh, let's go to the notification. Um, yes, so we forgot to like modify the yeah, you know, let's copy this. It's okay, it always happens. Let's paste it here. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> This one, 
Not the user. Here is the, the comment thing. Let's just put um, the duplication type like test preview. And here, date, and then natural time save that refresh and as you can see you have like the oh commented beautiful picture yeah everything's working perfectly um oh oh yeah the post is not loading here let's fix that let's copy this one Where is the picture? Uh, oh, oh, here. Uh, boom. Yep. And yep. Beautiful picture. So yeah, we have the all the notifications. We can create like a scroll thing here. So we don't have like all of these like notifications, but the ideal thing, it should be like um, creating like a notify I mean sorry like a paginator thing like a pagination like load more ta -ta, like all load all our like notification but in the next video we're going to work with this uh, button here to delete so we can like delete notification that we don't want to see anymore um, so yeah and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video bye